Look at this queen. It's a bestie Hello. day. So we just got coffee and breakfast, avo toast, because we love avo toast. And oat milk lattes. And oat milk lattes at Rise Coffee. We're in the Grove in St. Louis. It's a really cool area if you've never been here. You definitely should check out this neighborhood. And now we're gonna go to a vintage store right next door called May's Place. This is fun, fully gingham blazer. You can make this cute with a pair of linen shorts and like a white bra top. Those are so cute, I love the color. I've never seen a color like that. Steel gray. They look like work overalls. Like, look at the look at the knee patches. Those are great, dude. These are so cute. Fifty bucks? Not bad. That's really not bad. Oh, you should. You should try them. You could style that with like a basic t-shirt, or you can make them cute with like a puff sleeve, <laughs> with like a puff sleeve top. I mean, the way I always. Yeah, wear, like, yeah, overalls. exactly. <laughs> Insert our friendship bestie photo shoot where we both wore overalls and puff sleeve tops. Yep. Always drawn to yeah, and the neutrals. <laughs> I think of color. This looks like Swiss cheese in a vest. <laughs> I love it. Those are nice. Ooh, they kind of look like a pajama pant. They do look like a pajama pant. Pretty. I didn't bring them, but I got like those are cute. These in like a like a light green. Ooh. From um, a vintage shop in Cleveland. Oh, nice. I haven't really worn them yet. I definitely wore dresses like this all through college. Oh yeah, you were the Lily Pulitzer girl. The Lily Pulitzer shift dress. Yes, they were iconic. Ooh, it has like the matching scarf. And belt. Wow, I know. Wow. Garden party, eat your heart out. Wow. I would it's love to wear this to a Mad Men garden party. Yeah. Ooh, oh my gosh, I should throw them. I just want to throw all these like period parties. <laughs> Can I, let's start a new YouTube series where I just throw period parties. I will come to all of them. Yeah. <laughs> I just found another dress for Caroline. I feel like blue florals are just basically your aesthetic, yeah. You're That's like wrong. half your closet and neutrals. <laughs> yes. There are a couple of these shirts in different patterns in here and somebody hand makes them from vintage fabric. They're beautiful, but they're pretty pricey. So don't think I'll be picking one up, but isn't that so pretty? I love the cherries on this one. The other one is this Madras print. Yeah. Yeah. I want this to lay like this. Yeah, yeah. It's it's definitely meant for like working. 
bestie OTD. Can you guys tell that like we're the exact opposite fashion? <laughs> what are you wearing first? Head to toe. Head to toe. Okay, uh, my Adidas. I love those. Um, and then this skirt I got from Target and it was influenced by Miss Carrie Dayton. Love you, Carrie. <laughs> um, and then I got this. Actually, I got this yeah, thing with you. with me. I yeah, think I found it for like you. months ago. And yeah. I couldn't find a way that I really liked it. It looks but so I cute. I love it with this skirt. Yeah. Sunglasses are also Target. And then I am wearing a tube top, like a white tube top that I thrifted. This over shirt that I thrifted. It kind of reminds me of those like 90s cups. You know what I mean? With like the swish. <gasps> oh. Doesn't it? Yes. Like the... Yes, this is definitely very 90s. And then these are a pair of Zara gingham pants. And then my um, Birkenstock rubber shoes. I live and die by these shoes. I made this necklace and this bracelet. And then I just have some smaller gold chains. So we're gonna go get lunch and grab a beer and then we're gonna go antiquing. Just a little wet. So we'll see if we make it to the vintage stores now because we did bring our raincoats. We did. We were kind of prepared. And I have an umbrella. So, you know, also we've gotten the initial dunk in now. So now I feel like it just won't, it doesn't matter anymore. No. I, you know, I was just like, keep it off the eyelashes. <laughs> I did my hair today. Don't know why. You look right. pretty. Thanks. So do you. <laughs> We just popped into Cherokee Ave Antique Row. It's like a big street in St. Louis that has a bunch of antique shops. And we're currently in, honestly, my favorite vintage store in St. Louis that I've found so far. I have not checked everything out, but this is like my favorite one so far. It's called Retro 101 Cherry Bomb Vintage. And they have the biggest selection of vintage I've ever seen. We're currently in the basement where they just have like jackets and costumes like it there's just stuff there's everywhere everything. it's like a corner of petticoats an entire wall of jackets M maxi dresses that one's so cute there's i mean literally anything you could ever desire You don't need another coat, Caroline. But I love coats. <laughs> that one is really nice though. It's like not a thick one. No, it's ultra suede. Ooh. Which, um, fun fact, was made very popular in the 70s by one Mr. Halston. Oh, there you have it. That's cute. It's too small. The sleeves are too short. Oh yeah. It's like the long version of the one I got in New York. Right? Guys, remember when we were in New York City and you got it at Beacon's Closet, right? Yeah. If yeah. you haven't watched that video, you should. Yeah. <laughs> so 70s. I like this one, it's like a Lily Pulitzer. It's not actually, but it looks like it. It's only $10 though, actually. I like the exposed seams here, but I think it needs to be tighter. I love these. Those are cool. This is like a real life Bella costume. Look at these. I don't think it was actually meant for it, but it literally looks like it. 
Oh, there is a hoop. Oh my gosh. Ah, <gasps> so it's small. so tiny. Look at her, but like, look how small her waist is. Yep. Like my, it's like my hand. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a bit bigger than that. This one I saw here last time. It's like a halter, and it has these like tiered ruffles on the bottom. That dress was literally made for you. It's so pretty. That's like your print. It does have a little staining like right there. You could definitely get it off. Yeah. I don't get easily overwhelmed places, but this place I'm just like, I don't know where to look first. It's so much, like there's just like dresses literally lining the ceiling. Like I don't even know how you look at everything in here. But I think I'm gonna start in some of these full length dresses over here. I love their dress selection, it's so good. <laughs> a party in this dress it's a full length like silk large print floral dress and then it has this like floor length vest oh my gosh this is like a work of art honestly 1970s orange tab Levi's shut up <laughs> Just a wall of nightgowns here. I kind of want to see if I can find one. I've seen people style them up on TikTok. Really cute. And I kind of want to try one out. Can you believe people like would just like wear these around their house? I love this like 60s kind of halter dress. The fabric is really nice, like it's really sturdy but not like that itchy polyester and the back is super pretty with the like strappy halter. I think I'm gonna try this one on. like three pairs of 70s denim some of them are a little bit thrashed but i feel like it'll kind of add a little charm these are like a 70s bell bottom another pair of 70s bell bottoms these are levi's orange tab and then these are like a super light wash these are super thrashed but they have all the stitching on the sides i really like these so i'm gonna try them on it's really pretty look at this denim fringe set they have how crazy is that? I feel like Casey Musgraves would wear this on one of her sets. They have some of their clothes like separated by decades, which is really fun. So this is like the 80s section. This is also 70s stuff. Cause look at all these sets they have over here. Like this is like a disco set, poly set. Um, this is crazy cool. It's like a butterfly button down and then it has the long skirt. I wish this was a pants set because I would totally try it on. I probably wouldn't wear a long skirt like that, but he has a ton of sets here. These would never fit because they're size 25, but look at these pants. It's not bad either. Like it's $65 for the set and look at this suit. I die. Also 65. They also have an entire men's section back here and we've been going through all these men's jeans because I love men's jeans. They're so comfortable. Caroline and I are both in the dressing room. She's giving me all of her opinions, but I tried on these 70s. Actually, I don't know if they're 70s. Probably just by the fit, but they're like a true sailor pant. really like them. I feel like they fit pretty well. Maybe just like a little bit big in the waist. That's like really hard to avoid though. I know Especially when you when you got a booty when you got booty when, when you got, got hips. Ass. Yes, 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 yes. Everybody probably outside this dressing room was like, "What's Where happening? What's happening in there?" I really like these though; they're super comfortable. But check out these '70s like well-worn jeans. Look at all the stitching on the side, and then the back has like an arch. These are sick. 
Look at this ass. Look how good these look on her. They're like 70s bell bottoms. Do a little 360. Do a little 360. Oh, it's like slipping like, over the cheeks. So, wow, assalicious. Okay. Sadly, this dress did not fit R.A.P. We both found jeans. jeans. <laughs> I thought I swore off jeans after the pandemic, but. Um, but not when you find 70s bell bottoms. Not when you find 70s bell bottoms. That fit you like a glove. Can we go home and like put on a 70s outfit and dance to Abba in our living room? Yes, can I borrow a blouse? Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, okay. We'll see you guys in our, at our Abba dance party. Abba All dance party. Dance back. Except for we can't play Abba because copyright and it would be demonetized. Can we sing it? Yes. You are the dancing queen, young and sweet, only 17. We had our Abba dance party in our new 70s jeans, sure and is. now, what are we doing? What we do best? Oh, photo shoot. We're doing a photo shoot. This is us. If we had a reality TV show, it would just be us going to weird locations and doing photo shoots. I think we yeah. need our own reality show. Oh wait, I don't have my car keys. That's also part of a reality TV show, is uh, I forget everything in the house and then have to go back three times. So, all right, catch you guys at the park. That's a wrap! Let's give them a sneak peek on your camera. Yeah. Day two! Bestie day two! <laughs> Here's what we're wearing today. Adidas, again, because comfort. And we're going to the botanical garden today, so we're gonna be doing a lot of walking. This dress is from Target, and it's got pockets, and super comfy. And she's also wearing shorts, so don't worry yes, about her dress. Shorts. Same. Uniqlo, the Arizona, they're great. Um, and then Target sunnies again. Target sunnies. Body by Target. Body by Target. <laughs> I am wearing a dress that I thrifted from like the 90s. And then I'm wearing my Everlane sneakers. And then I have my Pixie Mood bag. It can be a backpack or a satchel. It fits everything so perfectly. I love this bag. And then I'm wearing these sunnies that I got at a boutique in Florida. So we're going to go to brunch now at this restaurant called Treehouse. It's a vegetarian restaurant in St. Louis and it's so good. We'll catch you guys at brunch. See ya. and then go to the botanical garden. <laughs> I mean, we could. I mean, we could. <laughs> All right, anyways, so we're gonna eat brunch and then we're gonna go to the botanical garden. <laughs> it's a B-roll. It's B-roll. Get it? Cause there's bees. Needed a bigger carriage. <laughs> I'm living my best life. I'm drunk at the botanical garden. Just kidding, guys. We're not. <laughs> Love you, bye. <laughs> All right, friends, Caroline just left. I'm sad, but we had such a good trip. I had so much fun taking her around and I guess you guys around too. And I'm just excited to continue sharing the city with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this sort of vlog style, you know, vintage shopping and other bits of my life. 
type of video. I think they're just called vlogs. <laughs> Clearly I don't do a ton of them on my channel, but I like them. They're a lot easier to put together and just kind of show you my real life and just kind of like things I'm doing and places I'm loving here. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. You can also follow me on Instagram at TaylorMadeStyle. And until next week, I'll see you guys later. Bye.